Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to the greatest name, the greatest venue in the world. It's a double header in the late heavyweight division, world title fights. Let's get this party started! 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing black with silver, official weight, 21 victories, including 14 wins by knockout, only one defeat. Sullivan Barrera! Fighting out of the red corner, wearing black and officially weighing in at 174.4, 12 fights, 12 victories, including 10 wins by knockout. The reigning and defending, undefeated, WBA light heavyweight, Dimitri Bevo! Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Good luck. Touch him up. The reference to the farm, of course, uh, the famed La Finca in Cuba, where Cuban amateurs go to learn the uniforms in amateur boxing. Uh, Barrera lived on La Finca for several years. Daughter, because Bevo has quick hands. So I think he came out with the ball, get the uh, momentum in his favor that early. Barrera. Herrera told us yesterday that he knows he has to work after he gets out of that first round danger. Makes a lot of sense. The only difference being the goal is dangerous in two, and he is the first round as well, so I can understand why he wants to avoid the early country. ...with Barrera, and that may play in his favor. Without a doubt. And, and I'd say also he's the bigger puncher, but as your opponent can do with timing, and using his experience to take you. I sense that Barrera may have the heavier hands. Meaning like Barrera has, when he hits you, your whole body jokes. We wait the vision. Max, as we get ready for one of the reasons why Sergey Kovalev is considerably more proud. Off and a consensus forms around someone else. That's what happened around Kovalev and then Ward beat Kovalev. So now that the old champ, Better BF was an amateur star and he's a tough pro and he's undefeated. Earned a title shot upcoming against Stevenson in a couple of months. But tonight against Sergey Kovalev in our main event, you'll be seeing three of the four. That had to be about Styles because Mihawkin is attack and that was some really good stuff for an up and coming prospect or up and coming light heavyweight. Yeah. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Sort of light heavyweight Gennady Golovkin. An athlete with real punching back and front foot fighter. So I think he's a little bit more diverse than uh um, oh. He may emerge for Bivol as blood is trickling from the cut just outside. Power boxer puncher, but he is a boxer puncher who that's what makes him fun to watch. Much as he can fight you two or three different ways. He can box, he can counter, he can work behind his long jab. Just answered about Bivol already. His left eye is bleeding. That's an option, son. I love the kind of punching I'm seeing from before. Oh. Round two of the scheduled 12. Bivol has the title belt. Barrera had the choice of which title belt, despite the fact that the money was less. Guys, did anyone see what caused that? I didn't see Barrera land some, you know, really clean shots, nor did I see a headbutt. Oh. According to our information, the first time he has ever been cut. Spectacular amateur career for Bivol. Two big wins and... Dimitri, more faster. One, two... Right there, as both guys were coming up to throw a left hook. The heads landed first, and then Bivol's only what caused that cut over that right eye. And that's good news for Bivol. Anyone can be cut from a clash of heads like that. Right, and if the fight is stopped in the first two rounds, Bivol is averaging nine landed jabs per round. The division average is under that he has put together. And, and also, he's, being, he's faced with a, an opponent who's a responsible boxer puncher. The most impressive thing about Bivol right, right there, he bounces back with his feet first, then he comes back and attacks with Kiffman to play defense with his legs and get... And, but and Roy's point, Bivol looks really good with his one two. To Roy's point, all the steam was off the Barrera right hand because Bivol couldn't have landed with much. And he does that when he comes back. High. So we get a really better fighter than he's been in with before and trying to take over the fight with his... Roy, why is this, this skillful amateurs and pros experience? You get two guys thinking high offense like that, the heads will come together into every punch. So when they come with a punch, they bring all power. Yeah, no one's scared in there. No. Going in. But the one who appears to be holding... You've made the point often, Jim. 
what separates fighters at the elite level and the ball is quicker. Offense here in this round. Already round down Brooklyn fans at the Barclays Center. Also that night, fellow Brooklynite, Jarrell Traversial, frustrating draw. Ways our unofficial ringside scorer Harold Letterman. Harold, how do you have the first Dimitri Bivol? Jim, I'm really impressed. He's a really good, good left jab. He throws a lot of good combinations. I mean, really good stuff. No, he lands both shots. He lands the left jab. He lands the straight right hand. Took really wobbles good. Barrera. <laughs> he lands oh, another that. left hook that wobbles Barrera. The straighter puncher, the better technician. Sullivan is showing a good job of staying in there, sturdy, handling big punches when he needs to. The question is, how can he win around him constantly as the fight? But there's another hard right hand by Bivol. There's so much crooked to him, he's going a body attack, but he's not doing that. He's going all this type of opposition in front of him. So if Barrera was smart, he'd attack the body now. That Bivol, with his much faster hands, could counter him upstairs. He's running that risk anyway. See that? He's so much quicker that you're running the risk of getting hit with the, with the speed punches anyway. You may as well get some. The superior, skillful, or athletic fighter. In this case, Bivol is both. The other got to win. And that's what the body shot would do if he could do that. And you see the graphic that says three for Sullivan Barrera. So Barrera's already lost the jabbing contest. Tilt the fight in his favor hey. via counter punching. And he's still trying. One of the mistakes you're doing. Fake. Fake jab, lead left hook. I demand Southern reach the hand for correctly in a straight right hand. Wow. Barrera is trying to throw the left hook to the head. Boom, there's the right hand. So what I'm saying, Jim. Killing point. Let's see if Barrera will think of it or try to make that a jump. was his desire to block shots instead of moving to the side to avoid them before he left the corner. That was a good body shot. Straight right hand lead over the left hook. What I like about b besides the feet that I talked about earlier, is his explosive. He explodes with every punch when he, when he thinks he has an opening. He doesn't wait, he doesn't walk up and it's over with. No wasted time, wasted time. He's done a pretty good job inhibiting the bleeding over the right eye of Dimitro. Seepage of blood at this moment, but by and large, the cut has been later in the fight. And uh, a butt that Herrera blood. Event tonight and who we were very familiar with throughout his title reign. Bivol's not heavy, no. he's a sharp puncher. But so far this performance, because Bivol has had to, you know, taste his own blood, it's been in a position. You yeah, can't hardly put a hand on, on Bivol's face, Max. That's very discouraging for Barrera because he can't let Within the past couple of weeks, former light heavyweight chair Andre Ward visited Bivol's training camp just to get a look, just to size. That was a jab by Barrera. Barrera kind of stumbling in, trying to land the body shot. Oh, that's a straight right hand by Bivol and Barrera. But I don't know how well he ate it. Step back, step back, step back. Hey! Fought here in this room with a knockout victory over Anatoly Chabransky. Right into him. Tonight he'll be facing an entirely different style. Kovalev, as you know from where he is, he was uh, steamrolling through the division per round, so obviously he's having a harder time mounting offense it's against all of his other opponents, like Joe Smith, like Felix, who are sitting ducks or still targets. When you fight a guy like Bivol, who can move, who uses quick hands along with that, it makes it very difficult to make contact with him. Is maybe one of the most underrated skills in battle of a guy who understands distance at every moment of the fight extremely well. But Bivol will use it to his advantage. Well, Lomachenko's answer to times be within your punching range, but he's not in a position where you can hit it. He's stepping to one side or the other, stepping around the stools. Another attempted body shot for Barrera. Before the body shots, you feel me? So Barrera finding more offensive answers now. Upstairs, where Bivol sometimes waits a little bit at the end of the combination, when it looks like the exchange is over, Barrera gives him something to think about. Bivol has lost a lot of steam on his punches right now, too, it seems, Max. Yeah. That right hand still has stuff, but... I started to say, the right hand was pretty good. That's now why... Bivol lands the straight right again. That's why I thought Barrera should have... 
Uh, B-ball throws a good one here and there, but their punches on the, for the most part are about even. Little given Barrera. Good body shot. Right to be a little more offensive, Roy. Boy, Barrera is maybe his best body shot so far in the fight. The documentary film that chronicles the life and times of a literally larger than life figure. You can't hit him, all right? You understand? The hook to the body all the time is there. Was doing, he lands a left hook to the head right here. Great left hook right there on that cut. And Barrera, in terms of landed punches counted by CompuBox. Let's see how Harold. Six to nothing. 60 to 54, Dimitri Bivol. Jimmy single round. I mean, it's all Dimitri Bivol. If you watch the punches, they're fighting this fight. Bivol. So, Roy Jones, if Harold Letterman is on target, and the scores are out of reach for Sullivan Barrera, how would he construct a knockout? Well, we're just in the sixth round, and it's a 12 round, where we're in the seventh body. Then try to come up and land something big on the top. If he doesn't do that, he can hold himself composed and together. He is a very compact puncher. If you shoot a compact punch like that, he's going to cause some issues. Like that right hand. Occasionally knocking Barrera back. There's another. And right now, I'm looking at how bad does Barrera run bad enough? Bivol will walk away with it right here. Hands for Bivol. And then the feet got him out of position to be countered. Fight at least. Bivol hasn't had a fight like this yet, but he wakes up and knows he was in a real fight. <laughs> no, they've all been walkovers by and large. And that's why I said it, because he still can win it if he wants. We've never seen Bivol. Bivol might have been slowing down a little bit in the last round. I want to beg to differ based on what I saw. Golf ball is forming there. Water. Give him some water. You see the ice jab, followed by a clean jab, followed by a good straight right hand right over the first couple rounds, Jim. That would have caused some issues. Right now, because of the fatigue factor against Sullivan Barrera, Russia against Cuba, light heavyweight division. Kovalev can win in his assignment in the main event against Igor Mikhovkin. Like it's it, it's not like a Rachman against Holyfield, Jim, but it's that same. Uh, Bivol's speed has neutralized that jab. Not only that, but Bivol also keeps his hands up very high. Four more rounds to go after this. Max Kellerman correct in saying that Bivol begins to look a little bit like a golf ball. Yes, it's not quite. But there's, you know, and, and by the way, he's winning every round, Bivol, and he's being tested physically in a way. And all, all that calmly so far. And another headbutt there, and Harvey Doc with his body language, circumstances, with a cut over one eye and a knot over the other. Well, when you want it. The hand speed is remarkable. If you like this, with the velocity and the style and the effect that the... The velocity is right, Jim. He's using it to create... No, it's not, it's not important. Listen, listen. Got to work. <laughs> Marks the third time in his career that he goes to the ninth round. Sullivan Barrera has been passed round distance. So Barrera is the proven commodity over the course of the stronger, faster, seemingly better fighter may change that equation. Bivolpling. Barrera in terms of landed punches and humiliating in the whole fight. He came in averaging five landed jabs per round in his last seven. Using it because it's being embarrassed in a way. Exactly. He realized it wasn't effective. In the round, Roy landed a real jabbing kind of. A few right hands to the body for a second. He threw two or three consecutively, then he stumbled to the body. This is the first time in the fight that I think I've sensed that Bivol is trying to get a little as often as he appears to try to get just a little breather in round nine. Oh, and now he comes back with a hard right hand of his own. Left hook land. The blood and the knot. They both will realize tomorrow morning that they were in a good jab by people. By the way, even if you're thinking, well, yeah, but Barrera's done his damage. But Barrera's, you know, ring savvy has kept him you know, upright in this. The left and the right hand in the first few rounds that Time! no other opponent he's faced would have stayed. As his hands are being wrapped, 
And now gloved trainer Abror Erson Pulatov uh, of uh, Sergei Kovalev's for years in the Russian amateur heaven out of 469. Harold Letterman, how do you have this score? Three He's just not boxing him. The fight's been, you know, basically fought in the middle of the round. Bumps landing that left jab and that straight right hand in the combinations. Nine to nothing, Dmitry Bivol. Bivol's answered questions, the questions that Herrera's been able to ask of him well, I expect, into a real world champion. That he'll be able to take and damage him. And Bivol, you know, has to deal with that in the late rounds of the Bull's physical qualities, the speed, the quickness, the punching power, seemingly with both hands, work on in terms of technique or mental approach to make it better. Just mental approach was around one in round eight through 12. Uh, right now, as you see in round six, wasn't quite as sharp and um, precise as he was in rounds one through six. On 12, that makes you very difficult to deal with. So that's the one thing, if I were him, uh, the, through it and continuing to perform to perform add an extra layer that that's not something that you've never seen before so yes that does add confidence seven he went from boxer puncher who might knock you out with any shots a little less dangerous with the shots yes well i wonder if that was guy is durable and tough no i don't think it was jim because he still was at time who saw opportunity so i think he's still been going for the knockout or going for the shots yeah. time the, the elite pound-for-pound pound fighters stay elite. Undefeated heavyweight Jarrell Big Baby Miller, also from Brooklyn, faces off with the Canelo Alvarez Gennady Golovkin rematch. They fought to a highly disputed draw last September. The idea that maybe Bivol should throw his head in that much more because he's gotten three pretty vicious headbutts already. So maybe body shots are for another night. Yes, exactly. You, you win the fight. Very big with his shots, why? But it looked to me like Barrera was leading with his head a little bit, like he thought maybe... I don't think he was trying to, like you say, I don't think it was on purpose, I just think this... Barrera. A couple of good moments for Barrera oh, good there. body shot. Combination, and then a stiff jab up the middle, and there's another stiff jab up the middle. Long amateur career in Russia. 268 wins and 15 losses. And modestly, Max, but at the end of the day, you walk out of the room and there's no question what he mental fight and the kind of fight where we are getting some answers from Bivol. He looks like the real deal. He would have been more impressive to many. Retired, I was focusing on what it was going to take to beat you. Beat Andre Ward, but in, in other words, Bivol seems to me to still be looked until now. You thought maybe he was already all the way there. And this fight is giving us some answers. Mike, you fought for this. You fought for your daughter. Three minutes. Two legitimate sportsmen. Two guys with more vibrant in there tonight. Oh. Bivol still looking for a knockout, Jim. Over 500, maybe over 600. Listen, you know for how many years you turn on Cubans and Eastern Europeans and when is that going to... I asked Bivol in the meeting, I said, you know, we always talk here in the United States, I mean, they all are as amateurs. Do you folks in Russia feel the same way about them? And he said, the United States and Russia view Cuba. They see Cuba. I want to see more American champions. We have to get our amateur. Oh, down goes Barrera. You just see it in his face. Can Barrera get up? Is Harvey got number 12. Jim, you identified just now what was so impressive about when it, how Bivol seemed to go into boxer mode, how he's still winning every round, and he pushed and he kept fighting as well as he could in and lands the knockout punch, closes the show. Well, I think I said to you, Roy, earlier in the round, he got it. He was still looking for the knockout with that right hand. And I told you earlier when you said that the opportunity, he goes at it with authority, just like he did right here. So if he sees an upper, you know, at some point we will know, but. Dimitri Bivol away. A disciplined, athletic, boxer punch, experienced amateur and professional in Sullivan Barrera. He won't be quite as among his 13 wins in this division. We need to get him. Ladies and gentlemen, all victory for the winner and still undefeated, still the ball.
first higher up there as Bivol lands 100, 172 more and lands at a much higher connect percentage. Power punches, 23 for 24 percent, not likely to win you the fight against a quality fighter out of 333 for Barrera. What, what is the reason? Любителям новичком, потому что при каждом сближении в ближнюю дистанцию я за этот бой. I felt a little bit like an amateur tonight because it was a real. Мне нужно было чуть расслабиться, потому что многие вещи я делал лишние. Не нужно было тратить на это. Быть одним из лучших. Мне нужно много работать над собой каждый день и никогда не останавливаться. Думаю, нашей команде сейчас надо подумать, хорошенько посмотреть, откуда лучше. Конечно, я не буду скрываться ни от кого. У меня есть один из один из по Шаковлев, one of the sport's most menacing offensive forces, puts his 175. Smikalkin is still to come. First, let's take a look at some up.